Well, we're looking ahead to about 2045, 2050. We think in that time frame we'll be able to link your nervous system straight into a computer. And even further than that, we should have nanotechnology which can get deep inside your brain so we can start linking your brain to a computer. What we think we can do then is start downloading your mind, essentially, into the computer. So if you get run down by a bus in the afternoon, it's no big deal. You just upload your mind into an Android that you buy and you carry on as if nothing had happened. You know, death is, a, is an inconvenience, but it's not fatal anymore. So this is how the theory of computer immortality works. Once, not very long ago, computers looked like this. Big, very big, huge. Then they started getting smaller and smaller until they were cute and lovable, as you can see. Children played Pong on them. Now mum shop with them, and who knows what dad does with them. At this current rate of miniaturization, within the next 20 or 30 years, computers will no longer look like this. They'll look like this. Organic yogurt full of trillions upon trillions of teeny-weeny nano-microchips. In this crazy, mad vision of the future, it will be possible for a doctor to inject a dying man full of computer yogurt. The yogurty nanochips will then scan the brain. The doctor will then retrieve the digi yogurt with said man's brain now copied onto it and then inject the brainy dairy produce into another host, like a newborn baby. Oh my goodness, that's not nice. It's horrible. Let's hope our next prediction is a bit jollier. What do you know? It's the future of toilets. What's the future of toilets? Oh, diagnostic. Well, I mean, toilets, because urine contains so much information about the body yeah. and the inner workings of your blood, your liver, uh, heart condition, you know, the, the kind of issues relating to kidneys. So when you urinate, you're passing all of this information literally down the toilet bowl. So what you're beginning to see is the first diagnostic toilet seat. So you sit on it, it reads your DNA. It can send it to a remote sensor on the internet whereby a doctor at his or her leisure can actually read all of the information prescribe or diagnose your problem and then send it back to you so literally as you step back into the toilet the following morning instead of finding sheets of toilet paper you can find sheets of data printed out about your current status in terms of health and also what you need to do to preserve your health in the future who would have thought that your morning ablutions could be so illuminating